Nerd Girl Sid here at Comic Con 2009, and I'm here with the creators of Safety Geeks. Is that S V I? That's Safety it. Geeks S V I. And we are. Oh, I'm Dave Beeler. Hi, I'm Brittany Powell. Tom Conkle. And they're going to talk to us today a little bit about their shows and tell us where you can find it and all that great stuff. So, what is Safety Geeks? Well, Safety Geeks SVI is basically a semi elite team of people who investigate safety accidents, although no one's asked them to. <laughs> and with their intention to make the world safe, they just cause havoc and destruction. That's and nice. we're good for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're keeping the world safe one accident at a time, usually right. caused by us. <laughs> so you get to blow up a lot of things, right? Oh, we do. Things blow up real good. Real good. <laughs> they do. They blow up real Big fire good. explosions, bloody limbs, all that fun oh, stuff. Yeah. Everything you would associate with a safety-oriented show. Um, we have an impaling with a character who we then talk to. He's up on a forklift for the entire episode, and we're speaking to him. Um, I think you kill a couple of people. He kills a couple of people yes. that we're helping. Yeah. Um, and she uh, breaks down uh, through profiling and stripping, of course, uh, a woman with exploded knees in a lap dance. Um, but she does get her woman. Very nice, very nice. So tell me a little bit about the characters that you play. Well, I play uh, Reginald St. John Smythe, which is a retired at birth billionaire. And he funds the team. It was his idea. So he's sort of like the saint and Batman combined. He has these incredible resources. One of the things they, when they go to one of their uh, safety calls, they do so in Safety One, which is their Learjet, and land it on cars and destroy uh, thousands and millions of dollars worth of damage, uh, property damage. So uh, I'm sort of the testicular head of the group. <laughs> but Did you uh, just say testicular, head? testicular head? The, the testicular head. Uh, exactly. I, I, testicles I, have a head? You mean, <laughs> you mean titular head, I no, think. No, the testicular head. <laughs> Yeah. So this is clearly a funny show. Just yeah. standing here is funny and peculiar. <laughs> yes. Strange. Funny ha ha, not funny queer. <laughs> <laughs> now, now your character. I'm intrigued by this character. Tell us a little bit about it. Uh, my character, I play just. I'm a genius, actually, yeah. and I can't understand why men don't take me seriously, even though I insist upon wearing push-up bras that with shorts that just barely hold in my nipples. It's the top stick, you know, the toupee tape that really just kind of holds those nipples in place. But why won't they look me in the eyes? Well, as ba as then, Pat Benatar once said, stop using sex as a weapon. <laughs> this is my best weapon. It Have is. you ever... I know dudes know these girls. Yeah. They're the ones who push the tits out. They're barely covered. They've got their butt barely, you know, covered by their... Nice breasts, There's by the way. Now. Um, but barely covered by their skirt. And then when guys are doing what men do, which is... Hi. You what doing? are you looking at? <laughs> what are you looking at? Yeah. What are you, don't you take me seriously? Except for my character really does need to be taken seriously because she is a genius. Yes. And can break you down to every level she needs to to get what she wants from you psychologically. That sounds like a lot of fun to play. Is that is that a fun part to play? It is. It's super fun to play. And the fact that these guys wrote her and they're twisted. Right. <laughs> I, I become putty in their hands because I'm just like, give me more. Awesome. Nice. So they're bad influences on you. Yeah. <laughs> in the yeah. best possible yeah. way. Right the, bad in the best way. They're if, the bad influences. If we had drawn Dr. Randy, we would have drawn her. Nice. So that's as close nice. as you can get. Awesome. Yeah. Now tell me about your character. Uh, I play Budwin Yacker, a uh, safety expert. I actually uh, joined the military for less structure. Um, uh, lost my parents very tragically. Um, uh, a while ago, uh, my my dad was decapitated in a safety uh, exhibit. I did a diorama with some safety glass, and he was uh, beheaded uh, during that. He's now working as a uh, consultant. Uh, he worked for the Bush administration. And uh, what a tragic character! <laughs> it's a tragic character. He's an imploded man. Mm -hmm. uh, we we often call him uh, Spock Belushi. He's a combination of John Belushi and Spock. So and probably so lovable. One of the uh, few funny Vulcan-like characters that you're going to see in a show named Safety Geeks. <laughs> this sounds, this sounds like such an interesting show. I think this is something I would definitely get into. I just, I think you I, I, I'm, right now I'm working through my Doctor Who obsession and after that I definitely want to, I definitely want to check this out. Now there's something else back here, if we could spread out a little bit. Oh yes, yes. Invention with Brian Forbes. Tell me a little bit about this one. You want to come over here and tell me yes. about it? Well, um, Invention with Brian Forbes is a, uh, a British chat show um, where the unfortunate Brian Forbes, who wants to be a serious journalist, much like yourself, um, who has to interview a, a complete madman. 
who's invented, uh, say, a printer that, uh, for safety reasons and for security, the, the document comes out shredded in small diagonal bits in order to prevent anyone from getting it. Recently, uh, actually, he uh, has the giant electric hairless toupee. Um, so if you're experiencing hair loss, you know, if there's a problem, you won't notice the hair at all because there's over 40,000 volts going through the top of your head. So the least of your worries is pattern baldness. And uh, so, so they have this continuing uh, chat show where he drives Brian mad, and I'm already mad, so eventually we might meet in the middle somewhere. Wow. Uh, it sounds like you guys have some pretty great comedy. Like, thank you. Like, you can't we, get any better than the, where you started. Like, we, we this like great idea. Silly comedy for smart people. Yes. Silly think, comedy for smart people. I yes. think your, your peeps will be ours. Yeah, we have a lot of smart people in our audience, and yes. I, I think that this is something that will appeal to them. I, I love that you also have a smart woman. Yes. Oh, yeah, Thank smart you. women. A are, smart are, woman. Smart women are sexy. Yes, yes. smart man. is sexy. That's our line. <laughs> Absolutely. Any man who's afraid of a smart woman doesn't understand it. That's mm -hmm. right. He's, he's, if you want to see these shows, please come to DaveandTom.com. Uh, you can watch Invention and you can watch Safety Geeks on the site. We're sponsored by Colcast TV. And that was my foot. Ah. Safety violation for you. <laughs> smart, not graceful. Put, put a coin in the safety jar. <laughs> and um, your ass. yeah, I know, I know. Now that part I didn't complain about. I'll pay you. <laughs> so right. we're we're actually even. Um, so please come to the Dave and Tom site and uh, support Colcast TV, who was kind enough to sponsor our appearance here as well. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, they've well, got some great shows. Yeah. We're so glad you guys were here because I've been really enjoyed talking to you guys. I've got that. DVD gave us. Yes. I yeah. want to check it out. I yeah. think you guys should all go check it out. These thank guys are hilarious in person, so I'm sure sh these shows are going to be awesome. So thank you guys so much for taking out your time out of the day at Comic Con. Enjoy you. the rest of the Comic Con. Can I ask you one last question? Please do. Oh boy, one last question. Here, here's the kicker. If it's briefs or boxers again. As much as I know our audience wants to know that, yeah. I have an even bigger question. Okay, because I'm oh. commando. All right. What about you makes you nerdy? Um, all of my interests and my lifestyle in general. <laughs> you are just walking the definition of nerd. I, I we know the Stephen type Hawkins of microphone. To our children yes. as bedtime stories. She gave me yeah. a Galaxy's coffee table book, which I read to my four-year-old. Oh so, my gosh! And Dave and I are yes. complete nerds because we can quote back everything on Monty Python. <laughs> and, and we're here and loving it. <laughs> yeah. These are our people. Is it, we found our people. Yeah. yeah, for sure. I'll have to go head to head on, on the Monty Python talk later. <laughs> uh, I worked with John Cleese on he the did. show. Oh my God. He did a, a two person show sketch show with John Cleese yeah. wow. called The Art of Soccer, which you can get on Amazon. Oh, know. awesome. Did you guys catch that? I hope you did. You All right, so thank you guys. Thank you. Enjoy oh, the rest it. of the convention. Thank you Cheers. very much. That's Thanks. it, guys. Bye, guys. Thank you.